Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another TV show reaction. Today, we're going to be jumping into, I believe, the season finale of season two, Daredevil. Now, whoa, okay, that kind of, a lot of time has passed, or maybe we've just been knocking out a lot of these episodes, but yeah, you guys have been hyping up season three, but before we jump into season three, I know there's some things I have to check out to kind of like get some background. I'm going to be watching, I believe, The Defenders, Jessica Jones. I think I've already seen Luke Cage kind of off screen. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to be doing that off screen. But then I'm also going to be jumping into The Punisher, um, maybe doing season one, season two before I jump into season three of Daredevil. You guys let me know how that chronological order works or which one's best. You guys are usually best for something like that so yeah with that being said i'm really excited about this i mean i love season two and you guys have been saying that it's probably the weaker out of the three now all of them are probably i'm assuming really good but you guys have been hyping up season three you guys have been absolutely hyping up season three saying it's like the best thing you've ever seen on tv and any adaptation of a superhero so i'm really excited for us to jump into season three but we still got some ways to go to get there so stay with me rock with me because we're just getting started but yes i just want to say thank you all to my daredevil people out there that are sticking with me and if you guys want to get exclusive early access content definitely check out that page Patreon. The Patreon community is so awesome. I want to thank every single last one of you. You guys have just been supporting me so much throughout this entire process. And I love that this community is just continuing to grow. It's really insane. But without further ado, guys, I just kind of want to jump right into the last episode of season two, which is, yeah, I think we're on episode 13, season two of Daredevil. Yeah, so this tombstone, ancient tombstone sort of thing, this is this is kind of crazy. I still have no clue what the heck could come of this. What does that mean? Does he know where Daredevil lives? Well, actually, yeah, I think he does know where Daredevil lives. Well, this isn't good. Yeah, I wonder what Electra's plan is going to be now, you know? Like, she's kind of back to where she was originally, yeah? Kind of a lone wolf sort of thing, but now she kind of knows her identity. So I'm kind of wondering what is going to be the plan for this. True or not, the legend says that once they have the black sky, they'll be capable of anything. Yeah, I mean, I think the scary part is whether or not if it's true or not, their actions are still very real and could still pose a great threat to Hell's Kitchen. The hands ninjas can mask their heartbeats. Yeah, this is this is really good dialogue between the two. I really love how their relationship with each other has kind of grew throughout this entire season. The last thing they're expecting is that we get back at them now. I mean, that's very true, but I mean, they are, they are loaded up. There's a lot of them. So that Miss Marcy Stahl recommends you very highly. And after reviewing the infamous Punisher trial, I would be foolish. <laughs> Look at my man, Foggy. Oh my goodness. Hopefully you'll find our starting salary competitive. Oh, it's her. What? Matrix. 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 You guys know what I'm talking about. Let's call them people with complexities. <laughs> you have no idea. Hmm. Try me. Uh-oh. That lean-in was like, I'm going to be important in season three. That was a season three lean-in. I'm going to play with it. This is so sick. Melvin is dope. Ah, I love how they introduce some of these things, man. So good. I mean, the papers might not report, but some of us in Hell's Kitchen, we know who's really looking out for us. It's yours, man. That's dope. Man, yo, he deserves that. He 100% deserves it, but it's nice to see someone actually say it. 
That's one of the troubles about being a vigilante is that no one really says it. It's a great shot right here. He's at the center of the frame, kind of looking at the dinner table as the camera kind of pulls back. Mm. Just kind of showcasing how distant he is. Or how, more like how he feels distant. Hmm. Really love these camera movements that they got going on. Like something as simple as that where the camera just shifts. So they're going after everyone that Daredevil has saved. That's that's quite a message, that's for sure. My goodness, dude. <laughs> Coward! Hey, look, 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 look. He doesn't know what he's saying, right? He's scared. Oh wow. Okay, jeez. Oh. Electricity in this building is too loud. The city's pulsing. Matthew, it, it's your <clears throat> city. Calm it down. Yeah. Okay. It's good that he's, you know, he has her around or that she's there for him to just really help dial him and him in, you know, like, cause he's having like a whole anxiety attack. Yeah. One at a time. I love the audio that they play during these moments. It's so good. Looks like that one area in Batman vs. Superman when Batman just kind of like beat the crap out of those goons. I don't know why that place reminds me of that. What part of house arrest do these assholes not understand? <laughs> Yo! Holy crap, that thing is guarded. With a goddamn house. God. Copy that. Officer down, back yep, now he knows at least where they are now. Nobu is crazy. He got his butt handed to him last time he faced off with Daredevil, though. Oh, boy. Oh, God, that was that was intense. That was freaking intense. Yo, my man, that's what I'm talking about. I love seeing these fight scenes, man. So crazy. What's going on up there? These people are being used for bait. There's some kind of weird cult up there, and they want Daredevil. We need those big lights. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, let's get the city to help Daredevil. Good, good, good. I'm happy that the city is now, like, cooperating with him. So they're ready. Oh, man. This is about to be a whole showdown. Oh, my goodness. But I'm really interested in seeing how the city's going to come through for Daredevil. I really do feel like they're going to come in clutch. In the future, I don't... But I, I do know that I'm free with you. Wow. Like with no one else. Man, dude, he's a phenomenal actor. I mean, they both are, but he's been just... Every episode, consistency has been through the roof. I'm not anyone here. He's incredible. You guys let me know if he won any awards. What if this is the end? I love how all the silence kind of got left out too for a little bit. Mm. And that's you. Mm. I'm the black sky, Matthew. Yeah, and I'm the devil of Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Perfect match. <laughs> oh, man. Please don't die. Both of you don't die. No one escapes the destiny. Yo, Nobu is such a badass. What the heck? My man now has a slick back haircut. You don't get the ground. So he's just taking them both on. 
Oh, no, never mind. Nah, they were like, let's have a gang fight. I love how there wasn't a lot of cuts during that. Like, they're letting this whole scene rock out. Okay, she's putting work in, but I'm a little... I'm afraid, dude. Like, I'm, I'm scared that, like, whatever is inside of her is going to waken or something like that. Or she'll probably just get hurt. Nice. What? Tag team. They just tag teamed the crap out of him. That was like some Bucky and Captain America combo. Oh, my God. Nobu knocked the mask off of him he punched the entire mask off are you kidding me <laughs> what <laughs> no <laughs> Oh, that's why she did that. That's why she did that. No. <laughs> Just don't let them take her body because I think they're going to try and revive her or something like that, right? Like, wouldn't that... Because that's how Nobu came back alive. You better guard that body like it's the last thing you do. Cool, Yes! Yes! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Frank Castle, my man. <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> Yo, yo, that was so good. So good. Frank around, right? having the Punisher outfit is so good. Look at this shot. Wow. Talk about a really awesome way to shoot this scene. Like, they truly embodied that like i love these camera sequences and how it moves and how it feels like you just it really does bring you along in like the comic book sense you know stay down <laughs> dog <laughs> bruh Yo, this this show is just incredible. Incredible. Nobu's dead. There's no way he's alive after that. He just got beheaded. Mm, I love how the camera's just slowly, you know, zooming in on his face. Just showing that he's contemplating a lot, you know? A stick. It was worth it. And this angle is just so good. So good. Notice how there's no like tombstone on it as well, too. Like shots like these where the camera is just moving at different angles and it slowly pans up and it just kind of like elevates itself. It goes from different perspectives all simultaneously. Like that's usually from what it looks like. It might have been done by like a crane or maybe passed on to somebody on a crane to kind of get more of that upper shot. But there's a lot going on behind the scenes when it comes to moving the camera to help move you as the audience. Yep. 
That basically, um, yeah, that was like the nail in the coffin right there. Go ahead, be my guest, but at least write something new, something different, something only you can write. Right, which... Man, I'm, guys, I said it before, I'm really loving his character. I'm really loving what his character is turning out to be, just comparing him to season one, to season two. So good. I'm really excited to see his evolution in season three. Look in the mirror and you'll know. Good start. <laughs> good start. I think you got about 1,980 words left. Others bloody the streets in the hope they can stop the tide, the crime, wow. the cruelty. I'm really excited to jump into the Punisher, guys. Like, I find his character so fascinating and so deeply complex. I'm super excited to see how that kind of dives into itself. Look in the mirror and see yourself for what you truly are. Micro. Hmm. <laughs> nice nice oh that was such a good shot so good feel sad for the neighbors though something he's gonna show her he's gonna show her the, you to see? the outfit yes it's him surprise if you couldn't tell by the beatings around his face. <laughs> I don't you dare tell me. I knew it. I knew it. You got to be kidding me. They took her body out. They're going to freaking revive her. It's a crazy shot right there. Whoa. Oh, God, that's not good. All right, everybody, and that wraps up Daredevil Season 2. That was the season finale. Guys, I, I, man, what a journey. What a journey. A lot of people said they found this season to be the weakest one. Um, In my honest opinion, I kind of liked this more than Season 1. I really did. I, I liked what it did for the story and the levels it took Matt's character. I think it made him much more complex in terms of all the obstacles he had to really go through because they just added so much now i can definitely see how a lot of people you know most people would say season one is better but um i think they did a really good job with season two i love that they introduced more characters and more heavier characters i would say more complex characters not to say that they weren't doing that prior but i mean what they did like with this season felt like every episode was almost like a season finale and the pacing in it was just so crazy it was absolutely insane but i love this episode in particular because of just how it felt like the fighting and i mean obviously the fighting i mean it's always great seeing that but you know Matt finally coming to terms with himself or somewhat coming to terms with himself and then finally also revealing his identity to Karen Page. I mean, my goodness. I mean, I thought that she would have known, but I guess she just maybe have not known. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. I'm really excited to see where this leads us towards season three. And you guys have been hyping season three up immensely ever since I even started Daredevil. So I'm happy that, you know, I'm going in blind with all of these. Like I said, I'm going to be hopping into the Punisher um, as well, too. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for, you know, coming along this Daredevil ride. I mean, I've been loving this on a filmmaking perspective but just me being like you know a comic book fan i really love daredevil and i loved what they did with this adaptation and you know i'm just so excited for the next venture so with that being said guys again thank you if you want to check out the full length or get early access and be way ahead of schedule really um definitely check out the patreon if that's something that you're interested in definitely click the link down below but like always guys be safe be healthy stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need grab some matches because they give them free just like my time hair pulled back in the back seat